This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store and Forged Irish Stout. Delighted to be joined with the WBO mandatory cruiserweight challenger, Richard Riakpour. We're just in you know, your potential next fight, Chris and Smith. Stop Mateusz Mastanak. Um, when you see that, what's your initial thoughts? Well, I was shocked. I was shocked that, um, you know, that he, he wasn't able to continue. It must have been a serious injury. I know, and the world knows Mastanak as a, as a warrior. So if he didn't come out, then there was definitely a serious issue. He wasn't able to, to continue. Do you take confidence from that performance with Chris Benham Smith? No, not really, because it's, it's, all, it's all about what happens on the night you know, of, the, of the fights. I've always been confident in myself. And um, you know, I've, I've already beaten him before in the past. So you know, I, know what, what I've, what, I know my improvements. I know what, you know, I know what I'm capable of. You know, to say the least. Well, as you said, you've you've already fought him once. To run it back and this time it being for for a world title, something special about that for you? Yeah, absolutely. Domestic clash you know, involved in, in a very historical fight, world title fight. You know, we saw it against um, with um, David Hay and Enzo Macrileni for more titles, but it's it's on the same magnitude. You know, people want to see this fight. And. In fight week, um, you did have a few choice words for each other. I mean, he, you put up an Instagram story saying that you can't wait to sort of shut up a counterfeit John Cena. Um, sort of more utter, utter those words when it gets to fight night and you, and you throw down? Look, it's a bit of banter, you know, it's a bit of banter. At the end of the day, we respect each other. I, I know he respects me as a fighter, I respect him. We've shared a ring before. And um, yeah, we, we, we got a job to do. But you know, with us, I think there's a thin line between love and hate. And once it gets to the hate part, you're just going to see bad blood. He's got something that I want, and I'm going to take it. As I said, is there bad blood, do you feel like, between you and Chris? It could be. It could be. It could be. But um, we're going to see. We're going to see. And um, me, I'm, I'm all for it, you know? I'm all for whatever. Absolutely. And for yourself, on a personal level, everything you've been through, um, you know, your life up to this point, to fight for a world title, to get that world honours, you know, everyone's dream. How does that, how much do you feel like I'd feel for you? Yeah, it feels good, it feels good, you know. I have a, I have a big dream though, I have a big dream. I have other things that I want to do and I feel like this is a part of, of the journey. So it's just a matter of time before this, is, this manifest, this manifestation this station, um, occurs and then bang, we're going to move on to the next stage. Absolutely, Richard Riakpour, thank you for your time to speak to me. Appreciate it, all the best mate and have a good Christmas and New Year man. Thank you mate, cheers.